Good morning, third graders. It is, uh, let's see, Thursday, May, May 7th, and we are doing lesson five in unit six. And the I can statement is, I can represent and solve comparison problems with misleading language. So here's Puzzle Penwing on page 405. What's the error? Dear math students, as part of my math homework, I solved this problem. Carlos has 19 fish. He has 14 fewer than Daniel. How many fish does Daniel have? Well, this is the misleading information. A lot of times when you see the word fewer, you think, oh, I have to subtract. Well, if, if um, Daniel has five, only five fish, it's not gonna be correct. So you have to make a comparison bar graph to show that Daniel has 14 fewer fish. So let's do another graph here. We know, we, we're trying to figure out how many Daniel has, and we don't know. So we're just gonna leave his blank. Carlos, however, we know he has 14. I'm sorry, he has 19 fish. So he has 19 fish, that's a nine. And then the 14 goes here. So he has 14 fewer than Daniel. So instead of subtracting, we have to add to figure out the 14 more. So 19 plus 14 gives us 33 fish. So you could tell Pe Puzzle Penguin you should have added instead. Number two, uh, number two through four, um, you're gonna solve comparison problems with misleading language. Solve each problem on a separate sheet of paper. So have some notebook paper out so you can solve these. Daniel has 23 fish. He has 15 more fish than Carlos. How many fish does he have? So I, I don't have a separate sheet of paper that I can show you, so I'm gonna show you right up here. So here's Daniel, he has 23 fish. Here's Carlos. Carlos has 15 more than Daniel. So how many fish does Carlos have. So 23 minus 15, go next door, and you have 13 minus 5 is 8. So Carlos has 8 fish. Okay, so I'm going to have you finish up number 3, 4, and 5. Use the Schoology course for today to correct your workbook pages. And let's go to the next page. This is page 406. Solve comparison problems without the words more or fewer. The coach brought 18 hockey sticks to practice. There were 23 players at practice. How many players didn't get sticks? So the players we know are 23. How do you like that hockey question, James Patrick and Anthony? I'm sure there's a few more of you that appreciate a hockey question. Um, and it says that the coach brought 18 hockey sticks. So we're gonna call, we're gonna just say S for sticks. So he brought 18 sticks. So we have to figure out how many players um, didn't get a hockey stick to practice with. So 23 minus 18, go next door, because bigger bottom better borrow, 13 minus eight is five. Five players did not get sticks. Oops, I don't know what's happening here. My page keeps moving. Okay, and number seven, we'll do one more and then I'm gonna have you finish the work. Number seven, at a meeting, 15 people had to stand because there were not enough chairs. There were 12 chairs. How many people came to the meeting? So we don't have any misleading words like fewer or more, but it does sound confusing. Um, so let's think of it this way. Um, we don't know how many people are there, so I'm gonna put P for people and I'm gonna leave it blank because we don't know. And then I'm gonna put 
um, 10, or I'm gonna do the 12 right here, 12 um, chairs, and then over here, 15 people were standing. So the 12 people were sitting, the 15 people were standing. How many people came to the meeting? Well, 12 plus 15 is gonna probably help us out in knowing how many people came to the meeting. Oh my goodness, people, I don't know how to spell. So third graders, um, I'm gonna have you finish up number eight and nine, and then I'm gonna have you check your work, do the quiz, and do some IXL, and I'd love it if you went to extra math today. Have a great day. We'll talk soon.